Good morning, everyone. Nice to meet you again. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, thank you so much. For So my name is Ms. Tabo. For those who are just joining us, I am Ms. Tabo. We'll be doing mathematics for grade eight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So for today's lesson objectives, at the end of the lesson, the learner must be able to calculate unknown values for angles for parallel lines cut by transversals. So that's our only objective for the day today because we'll be doing a lot of explaining and a lot of demonstration, right? Okay, so the objective of today is only this one. Okay, so let's, let's do our corrections because yesterday I gave you this activity it was two questions ne? and for those who were not here yesterday it's fine at the end of the lesson you'll be able to distinguish between corresponding angles alternate angles core interior or angles on the same side of the transversal okay so do we see those two black lines there those two black lines there represent parallel lines they are our parallel lines and the diagram right now it's it's standing in a weird way like not the one you are used to the one we did yesterday it's a bit weird but if you can just turn your phone or your screen you'll see that it's still the same thing right okay so number two a write down all pairs of a corresponding angles so number two a number two a our corresponding angles is one exterior and one interior guys do we still remember that it's one exterior and one interior and in total we will have four pairs right okay so number two a our corresponding angles is y two and x two can you see that it's one exterior and one interior interior it's between those two black lines which is our parallel lines the second pair is y three and x three angle because we have our exterior angle and our interior angle. So the third pair is Y1 and X1. Y1 is our interior and X1 is our exterior, right? Okay, so our last pair is Y4 and x4 y4 is our interior angle and x4 is our exterior angle and that blue line there the blue line is called transversal right so let's move on to number b so this blue line that i'm talking about is our transversal sorry about this it's a bit messy but the blue line there represents our transversal right okay so let's move on to number b alternate angles so alternate angles we have only two pairs so our alternate angle are interior angles that are opposite that are opposite angles opposite angles interior right so our interior is between the black lines our interior is between this black lights this black line and this black line here it's our interior it's not our exterior it's our interior it's inside in between two black lines right so in our interior we have uh, four angles 
So alternate angles are opposite angles. So our first pair will be Y1 angle and X3 angle because they are opposite inside interior. We are only focusing on our interior and they are opposite, right? You can see there, you can see there, here's our Y and here's our three. They are opposite. Y is, Y1 angle is opposite to X3 angle. So our second pair, definitely, it's obviously X2 and Y4 because that's the only ones left they are opposite you can see there from sorry from x2 to y4 we have our opposite angles which makes them alternate angles interior right okay so now number c we have core interior angles on the same side of the transversal so when they say on the same side of the transversal, they mean on the left hand side, on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, because transversal. Okay, sorry, transversal has two sides: is the first side and the second side, this side and the other side, the the, the left side and the right hand side, right? Okay, so we only focus on the interior, not the exterior. So in this case, we are only focusing on the interior, again, on the same side of the transversal. Transversal has um, how many sides? Two sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, right? So we only focus on the same sides, not opposite, but same sides, right? So internally, interior, we have um, the left hand side. The left hand side, we have our Y1 and X2. Can you see that? That's our pair for number C, which is our core interior angles. Our first pair, one Y1 and X2, number C. So our second pair will be Y4 and x3 because they are on the same side interior inside you remember yesterday i said interior in your mind you can just think of something that is inside exterior you can think of something that is outside so number c we are only focusing on interior which is the inside between our two parallel lines so our last one will be Y4 and X3, right? So there by the comments, guys, can you please just say yes to see how many of you got it right or how many of you do understand the difference between corresponding angle, alternate angles, and core interior angles. You can just comment yes to keep things simple, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's move on to our next slide. So on our next slide here, number three, they say find the value of F1, F2, F4, E1, E2, E3, and E4 in the sketch below. Give your reasons for your answer. Ne? This seems a bit complicated, but it's definitely not complicated. So we will name the sketches sketch A, and this one we can say it's sketch B, right? So let me say this before we can find the values of our sketches right okay so here ne, you can see your corresponding angles we have our alternate angles and we also have our core interior angles 
So when the lines are parallel, né, guys, any pair of corresponding angles are equal. It means that here on the sketches, all the corresponding angles are equal. So if, for example, F4 is corresponding with E4, and F4, let's say, it's, let's say F4, it's 20. So E4, definitely, it must be 20 because they are equal. And another pair we have here is 31 degrees. We can name it F3. You can see it right here. This one, F3, 31 degrees. So it means that um, A, not A, E3 angle equals to 31 degrees because they are corresponding angles, right? One interior and one exterior equals to our corresponding angles. And the second one is alternate angles. Alternate angles are also equal. Alternate angles, we said, they are opposite. Opposite internally. Opposite a interior. So we'll have our 31 degree there, the one I cycled. And then here, obviously, it must be 31 degree because they are opposite internally, right? Okay, so let's move on to our third one. The sum of any pair of core interior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees. So our core inter interior angles, it's on the same side of the transversal. So it means this side, E4, and Fe, F3 are our core interior angles. And those ones, they must not be equal. But when you calculate them, they must give you 180 degrees. When you have both, the, both their values, when you add both their values, they must be 180 degrees, right? Okay, so let's start then. So since we have... Okay, so since we have 31... Sorry, guys. How do I erase this? Erase. We can erase here. So let's start then. So let's say, let's start. So it means that our, you see there, we only have on here on A, sketch A, we only have 31 degrees as our value. And there's no any other value here. And 31 degrees is opposite to what 31 degrees is opposite to f1 right and it's also opposite to e1 so so 31 degrees it's opposite to f1 here angle f1 and it is also opposite to e1 we can see that, right? So it means that F1 will have our 31 degrees and E1 will also have our 31 degrees. Guys, are we, are we all here together? Are we all here together? So let's move on to the others calculating the unknown values. So now we already have value for F1 and we have value for E1, right? So in this case, E1 is also opposite to E3. So it means that this side, again, we have our 31 degrees. You can see that, right? So our remaining 
values that we haven't calculated yet is uh, F2 and F, F4, the angle, E4 angle, and 2E angle, right? So let's do our equation then. So when we do our equation, obviously, do you see from A to B, from here to here, we have our line segment. And our line segment or our straight line, you know, guys, that it's 180 degrees. So below AB, it's 180 degrees. And above AB, it must be 180 degrees. And it ends here. This will also have its own values, right? And you know a full cycle, it must be 360 degrees. So let's do our equation to find the value for E4 and E2 in the meantime. So our E, we'll have our E1 plus, okay, sorry. So, sorry guys. Okay, so obviously we already have our value for E1. So now we must find our value for E4 angle. So we'll have our E4 angle plus 31 degrees from E1. You remember our E1 is 31 degrees equals to 180 degrees. And that gives us, I can't write everything here, guys, but I do have a detailed corrections for you guys. And our answer will be 149 degrees. So it means that, let's erase this so that we can see properly. Okay. 80 degrees. So it means that our E4 equals to 149 degrees. So our E4 is 149 degrees, right? Can you see that? Our E4 angle equals to 49 degrees. Let's write it here. 149 degrees. It's our E4, right? So E4 is opposite, equally opposite to E2. And that makes our E2 149. You see that, right? And again, F4 here is a corresponding angle with E4 because it's our exterior and our interior is E4. So that makes our F4 149 degrees, right? Okay, so let's move on to the missing angles. We Now we have, I think we are done now. So now we have our values for all our angles. And F2 again, F2 equals to 149 degrees. Why? Because it's opposite to F4 angle. And that basically makes it um, also 149 degrees. Guys, are we all together? I hope so. And can you still remember that here? It's 31 degrees. It's 31 degrees. And I said that on our core interior angles on the same side, there must be a total of 180 degrees because they are not equal. The only equal angles are corresponding angles and alternate angles. Alternate angles, the opposite one, 
that they must be equal and corresponding angles, they must be equal, the interior and the exterior. And for our core interior angles, they are not equal, but when you add them together, they must give you 180 degrees. So now since we have our F2 and our E1, our F2 here, and our E1 right here. So let's add them together to see if it does give us 180 degrees. So we'll have our 149 plus 31. If it's not 180 degrees, then it means that you must restart and do your sketch again, guys. Ne? So after doing that, it must give you 180 degrees. So can we please add 31 degrees plus 149 degrees and see if it does give you 180 degrees because it's our core interior angles on the same side of the transversal. If it doesn't, guys, can you please edit and tell me if it does give you um, 180 degrees? If it does, just comment yes there by the comments. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, so now let's move on to the next slide, right? Not the next slide, the next sketch, sketch number B. So there on our sketch number B, guys, this is the question. Eh? The question is, give me the value for F1. F1 angle, what is the value for F1 angle. Can you please comment the answer for F1 angle? Sketch number B. You don't have to calculate it. It's there. It's there. You, you, you must just type it. It's there. So for F, it's 131 degrees. Yes, you guys are correct. It's 131 degrees for our F1. So this is 131 degrees, right? Okay, so um, can we please again, because um, F3 angle, it's a corresponding angle to E3 angle because it's one interior and the other exterior it's E3 angle. So that makes our E3 131 angle, right? So we now we have values for three angles: F1 angle, F3 angle, and E3 angle, right? So now let's let's see another corresponding angles because there must be four pairs, you remember. So we have one, two, three. So now the other one remaining. So here we'll definitely have three, one, three angle. Why? Because F1 is our exterior and our E1 is our interior. And corresponding angles are equal right so we have value for our three four angles so our remaining values now it's f f4 angle f2 angle and e4 angle and our e2 angle right okay so now let's calculate our value for um, E2 angle. And remember, 
this is our straight line. And below our straight line, the total must be, the sum must be 180 degrees. And above our straight line, again, it must be 180 degrees. When you add both the angles, it must give you 180 degrees only until this point, not above there. Right, so now let's calculate our value for, for E2 angle, this side. So let's calculate now. So when we calculate our value here, we obviously have our E2 angle, which is unknown, plus 131 degrees angle equals to 180 degrees, which makes it, we can't write everything here with guys because the screen is just, it won't display everything clearly, but I have a detailed corrections for you guys. So our answer will be 49 degrees. So that makes our, E2 angle, 49 degrees, right? Let's erase this. Okay, so that makes our, our E2 angle, 49 degrees. And again, you can see that E2 angle, it's opposite to E4 angle. Simply, that makes that makes our um, E4 angle, what? 49 degrees. You see how easy this is. You just have to think about it and just use your mind. And again here, guys, you can see that E2 angle is corresponding angle to angle F2 angle. Can you see that? Because it's our interior F2 angle and our exterior is our E2 angle and they are corresponding angles. That makes our F2 angle what? 49 degrees. So now only one remaining value we must calculate. And then we can see that our F f4 angle is unknown right and our f4 angle is opposite to what it's opposite to for it's opposite to f sorry it's opposite to f f2 angle and again our f4 angle is corresponding angle to angle E, they are corresponding angles. You can see that F4 angle, it's corresponding to E4 angle. We can see that, right? They are corresponding angles. And again, it's, it's vertically opposite to F2 angle, right? Guys, if you do understand, just comment yes, so that we can move on to the next slide. And the last thing, um, we must calculate our 80 degrees for core interior angle. So our core interior angle must be equal to 180 degrees. And here's our core inter interior angle. It's inside, inside between our two parallel lines and our parallel lines are the black lines there you can see the black line e to d a to b you can see that right and on both sides on the left hand side and on the right hand side those are our core interior angles so let's add them let's say 49 plus 131 degrees equals to 180 180 degrees which means we are correct well, guys and i know that most of you guys are getting this and it's just so amazing it's really nice i'm so happy that you are getting it right so now we are good guys right so let's move on to our next slide 
Okay, so our next slide here, it is the point number one. Construct perpendicular lines that forms for right, that forms a right angle. So do you remember on our next first lesson on Monday, we talked about perpendicular lines. So can you please go to that slide? I have uploaded the slides or you can just research about it if you were not in our class on Monday. So this is our homework. We are wrapping everything that we did this week. We are basically wrapping everything that we did this week, right? So perpendicular lines, you must form four right angles. Okay, let's, let me do this. Here, it's saying we must form four right angles, guys. Not four right angles, four right angles, which is 490 degrees. That's our number one. And then our number two, construct vertically opposite angles consisting of 30 degrees angles and 150 degrees angles so it means that here you must construct your own vertically opposite angles you must write them down you must use your protractor don't forget that even number one you must use your protractor because it's important here the measurements are really important you must use your protractor to to construct your own perpendicular line and you construct your own vertical opposite angle that consists of 30 degrees and 150 degrees angle. You must not con include your own measurement in this case. You must use 30 degrees and 150 degrees. So number three, construct a line that intersects parallel lines slash two lines using your protractor own measurements transversal line must be a b so in this case you must um, you must construct a structure that we are busy doing at the moment you must construct the structure using your own measurements the structure or the sketch is um it's it must be similar to the one in question nine you can see there in question nine it must be similar right and for number one, two, three, that's our five marks. It's five, 10, 15, right? And for your transversal line, guys, the transversal line is the line that, that intersects two lines. What are those two lines? Those two lines are our parallel lines. Don't forget. And then your transversal line, you must name it A and B from point A to point B at the beginning and at the end. It must be A and the other end must be B. So beginning A and B, right? So number C, number C, you must find the missing value for angle two. And you know our straight line equals to what? And above our straight line must be 180 degrees. So in the meantime, if we can add 55 and 55 and 47 okay. it doesn't give us um 180 degrees and when you add all your angles here on number c it must give you 180 degrees don't forget to verify your answers ne? and again um um question nine question nine um, find the value of F1, E1, and E, E2 in the sketch below. So here you will find the missing values. By now, guys, I know you do understand everything. And that's six marks. And for number C, it's two marks, right? And our total comes to 23. Okay, so for now, guys, can you please visit this link here? and answer those three questions. And can you please do that for at least the next um, five minutes, guys, please. Can you please go to this link and answer those three questions, please. Now, for the next five minutes, can you please go to this link, click on this link and answer those three questions. 
And if you are able to access this link, can you please comment yes? And if you can't access the link, comment no. And again, guys, your home activity must be in. Can you please send your home activity to my email address there? Just send your home activity before Sunday, at least Sunday morning, but not Sunday during the day. You can do your homework today and send it today, anytime, just before Sunday, guys, please. Okay, guys, I will also upload um, the corrections for number three. Can you please access the link in the meantime? Oh, you, are, you guys are already done. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for accessing the link. Yes, Ritabile, can you please access the link and answer those three questions? They are very easy. Ne? So the first question was, let me stop sharing. Okay, so for those who I, who can't access, ne, let me say the questions first, first, so that you guys can answer. That's our class activity for today. Those, that's our class activity for today. You just need to go to that link and answer those questions, only those three questions. Ne? So the first question is, what is a straight line? What is the degree of a straight line when you think of a straight line what is the degree of a straight line can you please comment there in the comments and tell me the degree of the straight line for those who did access it did click the correct answer because i gave them few options there can you please comment there um the answer for straight line I will show the link again, it's fine. For now, let's just um, comment your answer for a straight line. Tell me the degrees of a straight line. So the answer for number one is yes, is 180 degrees. Yes, guys, you are correct. Um, Lisedi, Kalasa, and Ntanta. You guys are correct. And I know most of you guys are correct. Maybe you're just not able to type and that's totally fine. So the second question, the second question is, what is the degree of vertically opposite angles? So in total, vertically opposite angles, they have its own degrees, right? So our vertically opposite angle has its own degrees and let me give you a clue it's a full cycle what is the degree of a full cycle can you please comment the degree of our full cycle if you were able to access the link you will see there i gave you guys few options ne? So our degree for our full cycle is 360 degrees. You guys are correct. It's 360 degrees and it's the same one as vertically opposite angles because they have four angles and those four, four angles, they form a full cycle, right? They form a full cycle. They don't form a half cycle. They form a full cycle. So the last question is, um, what is the example of parallel lines? Ne? So I have option number one, there's interior. Option number two, book lines. And option number three, parallelogram. So which option are you choosing? Are you choosing interior, parallelogram, or book lines? Example four, Parallel lines. Can you please guys tell me the example of parallel lines? Because I, parallel lines consist of two lines. You remember, right? 
So you must tell me parallel lines. What is the example of parallel lines? Book lines, interior, or parallelogram? Can you can just say there by the comments? Yes, guys, it's showing a blank because now I'm just saying the questions. The questions are on the link. They are not here. I provided you with a link. Here's the link, guys. I just send it now. You can just access the link there and you, it will show you the questions. So, yes, that's correct. So, the answer for question number three is book lines. Those are our parallel lines our parallel lines consist of it's an example of book lines ne? guys thank you so much and don't forget to send your home activity um via email on sunday please guys thank you so much thank you so much for joining me again thank you so much i'm looking forward to receiving your home activities sent via email you can type it it's fine you can write it and take a picture and just send the picture via email or you can present it using your PowerPoint slides. Thank you so much. Um, I'll see you again on Monday. And on Monday, I will present your marks. I will present your marks. I will tell you your marks or I will send your marks via email. I'll see you on um, Monday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Guys, um, up, um, I'll be uploading the home activity, guys. Ne? I'll be uploading it. You, you'll have access to it. I'll upload it just now. I'll upload the, the slides that we used today. Right? Yes. Guys, let me share my screen so that so that some of you who won't be able to access the home activity can look at it now. Yeah, so here's the uh, home activity. Just take a screenshot or something.